step 10 is baseline project compression. So now that we have the schedule put together with durations and logic and availability, the next step is to look at, you know, basically, uh, did it fit into the time frame we had allotted? Okay, there's always a, a start and finish. And there's always a period of time uh, that's allotted, and uh, we got to make sure it fits in that time frame. We have to make, you know, this particular project started on July 5th of 17, okay, and it is completed uh, January 17th of 18. So if we were to say, okay, well, that's what we planned for it to be. I mean, this is where where we are, but in reality, it's not January. It's more like December. So we'll say the must finish on date, that constraint, that last constraint, if you remember now, um, is uh, a month back before that. So we'll hit it with we'll it there. And you see all the negative float numbers come out. This only works, keep in mind, when we look at the negative float, if you have a closed network. We talked about that before. Um, so as we, if we have a closed network, we have the start and finish dates on every contract that you'll ever work on. There's not an open finish date, and of course there's a start date, okay? So we know those two dates. Everything is constrained between those two dates. Everything else is driven off of logic. So we, we have the schedule now, and we realize, gosh, we're 20 days over, 20 working days, no less, uh, over um, the project completion. So how are we going to deal with that? How are we going to get the critical path, which the definition of a critical path is uh, a, a activity with zero float, better defined as the longest path to the network. Now, what I think helps to here is we can define the critical path by zero, or we can define the critical path by the longest path. Um, if we go into this icon here, the schedule icon, we can go to the options. And we can change the settings where we can say, okay, if anything is open, we'll make it critical. Um, and uh, we're going to make sure that it's the longest path, not the total fl float less than zero days, just the longest path, okay? So we'll just go ahead and hit schedule. And what that does is even when we have negative numbers, it'll only put on uh, the task of the longest path. So, um you can see kind of how that works. Uh, so we have the longest path identified, and we want to say, okay, we need to reduce uh, the critical path by 20 uh, uh, working days. How are we going to do that? Well, there truly is only four ways. The first one is creating some smart relationships. Okay, so if we went in here and we said, oh, all right, we need uh, to make some smart relationships to, to compress the duration. We don't, you know, we don't have to, uh, um, we, you know, we're going to go back and we're going to look at the logic here. We're, we don't have to wait till something is finished before we start something else necessarily. So um, we can say, okay, steel fabrication shop drawings. Okay, let's look at the relationships here. We have a finish to start. Um, we don't want to start fill, still fill fabrication uh, until shop drawings are done. That makes a lot of logical sense. We could not make, change that relationship because that's a hard uh, relationship. Uh, however, um, so we could we could come down here and look at a different relationship, and that may not have that you know uh, that same kind of logic. Okay, um, so uh, let's look for example. We could change uh, the logic to be able to to uh, to occur. Um, we can say, you know what, we don't have to wait till uh, un the water heater and mini slits. We don't have to wait until the, s the ceiling of the floor is complete. Maybe the situation is where we can go ahead and place those things beforehand. And uh, although that would be difficult, we could change that to a start to start. And you see, by changing it to a start to start, we reduce the amount of float uh I mean, we increased the amount of float, which is reducing the number from 20 days to 17 days. Uh, so, you know, we can do a lot of those different things. And uh, here's another example here. Um, do we need to rate until the stu structural steel drawings are with 100% plan review? You know, 
Maybe not. How about when they're doing a plan review, we go ahead and start working on the shop drawings. We'll take that risk. We could have a start to start and look at the effect on the critical path. It reduces it by 10 days. It went from 17 to 7. So that's one way by creating smart relationships. Usually start to starts or finish to finish. But start to starts are the ones that are, more, are most typical. Uh, the second, and, and that kind of goes to the whole adage that the more stuff you have occurring at it's, at the same time, the better off you're going to be. So uh, just something to think about when you go on a job. You want to see as many things occurring as possible because the more things occurring, occurring as possible within a day, uh, the quicker it gets done. The next next uh, item we can do is we can say, okay, let's increase the amount of resources available to us. Um, now, we can't arbitrarily just go in here and say, um, let's go ahead and uh, inc double the amount of crews that we have on structural steel. We have to reach out to the subcontractor. Uh, we have to talk to them about can, you know, do you have the resources to man it with 20 people rather than 10? So, like I said, these are not arbitrary changes. We're going to actually go back and look. So, let's say structural steel here. Now, structural steel has a duration of eight days. Now, uh, it has zero man days, but if we went ahead and put in the, the man days, um, you know, if we went ahead and uh, uh, dropped in labor units and we said, okay, it's uh, going to be, give me 20. 20 man days, right? Okay, 20 man days is let's change the duration just for simplicity sake to 10 days, okay? So that means we have two people working on the job for 10 days. That's what that means. What if we double the crew? We have we have four people working um for, you know, four people working instead of uh, two. The man days never change. Man days are the amount of time time it takes regardless. You could have 100 people building a wall one day or you can have 10 people building a wall over 10 days so man days never change now duration days do change so let's say we double the amount of crew size okay so we talk to the sub and we say okay listen you had two people can you get four well if we double the amount of crew we reduce the duration by half so it'd be five now watch the effect on the critical path we have negative nine now and now we have negative four. We picked up quite a bit of time there. So adding additional resources to select critical path task can reduce the duration. Means and methods are the other two. Means and methods and materials are the other two ways we can reduce duration by changing the way we do it. Um, you know, say doing prefabrication or doing tilt up rather than doing prefabrication. That's an example. By changing the materials altogether, working with the you know, working with something that's prefabricated or, you know, so there's numerous different ways. Those are much tougher. The ones that we lean on when we do the baseline schedule more often than not are smart relationships and additional resources. So we cannot arbitrarily make these changes, remember, without actually talking with people and giving, uh, you know, giving them some options and trying to figure out what to do. We only want to reduce durations on the critical path if we reduce duration say you know say that we uh i'll just pick one here say we told these, these guys are going to double their crew and they're going to get it done and and two days okay at the end of the day it didn't affect our critical path duration it increased the float the amount of free float total float for that individual activity but it didn't affect the critical path so you know we we only want to focus on you know, activities that are on the critical path. So uh, we want to get the total float down to zero. So right now we're negative four. Uh, say we, you know, we, we looked at uh, post-construction and we can change some, you know, we can change the relationship here. We don't have to wait until the seed and straw is done. We can, when they start that, uh, we can, we can uh, start working that. Um, with seed and straw, let's see. Uh, so th those need to uh, obviously wait. Um, see if the seal concrete for we had three days, maybe we're able to double the amount of crews and or triple the amount of crews and get it done in one day. Okay. Um, so the one thing you'll notice is the critical path will change where it's at. It will never remain the same. And once you start uh, reducing the amount of days. Um, 
uh, once we, we we go through the process of uh, of reducing the amount of days, getting out the total float, uh, getting from from negative total float and reducing it down, the critical path will change. And in the end, what we want to see is we want to see okay uh, that the total float is you know is zero and it fits in the time frame. It's going to be done before December 30th, which is the finish on constraint for this project. So um, so remember we can only Ha look at the total float numbers if we have a closed network uh, the closed network will show the critical path uh, I showed you some critical path options of how to show it one thing I will show you is if you want to only focus in on uh, critical tasks we can you know we can just you know filter by critical path the problem is is I selected a little beer funnel thing looking here see I only want to I can only look at critical path task but if things change you have to refilter it you know again and again so those are some nice features to be able to filter it so that covers the uh, baseline comp uh, compression we talked about fitting it into the time frame between the notice to proceed and the completion between the time frame dates there's two constraint dates we have we talked about the four ways of reducing relation reducing critical path smart relationships increasing resources or availability and change the means and methods or the material I gave you a few examples I talked about not arbitrarily making these changes without getting input from others and making sure if it's actually viable. Uh, we discussed looking at your total float numbers and ultimately getting them to zero to fit into the time frame. Um, and I mentioned that you must have a closed network to get the critical path um, shown. You know, most some people will say, well, I can't see the critical path. The reason you can't see the critical path is because you don't have a closed network. So that covers baseline schedule compression.